Hello everybody, this is Jeff from the Technology Learning Center and today we're going to take a look at Hoopla. Now, we have a lot of services that you can use from online. Uh, we have our databases that we've been going over. I showed you how to use Libby. If you haven't seen it already, there are videos for some of these services that we have, including Libby, some of our databases. They've already created for you earlier on this page. You can check under our videos collection. You can also find most of them on our YouTube channel for the library. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at Hoopla. Hoopla has a variety of things from movies, videos, uh, television shows, you've got books, you've got ebooks, you've got audiobooks, and you can also get comic books from Hoopla. That's one of the things that I am personally impressed with. So we're going to take a look at it, all right? So the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to cmclibrary.org, and then we're going to come over here to Menu, and we're going to go to Borrow. Now, as I showed you before, uh, just a couple seconds ago, we have options that Hoopla are in, including audiobooks, ebooks, and movies and music. You can go to any of these categories here and get to Hoopla. So if I go to movies and music, there it is, Hoopla, right here. Now, when you first come to Hoopla, you need to create an account. You need to have your library card ready, and when you, when you do that, you're going to click on Get Started Today and follow the instructions. And it's going to ask you for an email address. It's going to ask you to create a password. Make sure you write those down somewhere and put it somewhere safe. And then it's going to eventually ask you for your library card and what library you use. When you first come to this site, it may ask for your location. And that helps it figure out what library is yours if you give it permissions. If not, you might have to do a little bit more work to get to log in. So I'm going to log into my Hoopla, and then we're going to get started. OK, so here we are. We're in my Hoopla. You can see anything that I currently have borrowed out here. Notice that I can borrow five more titles this month. You get six titles every month to borrow from Hoopla. I've only got one thing checked out, and as you can see, it's a graphic novel or comic book on Star Wars. All right, so let's start by taking a look at settings, because that's the important part. When you come in here, you're going to see what email you're logged in in. You can see whether kids mode is turned on, and you can see whether you want to keep your browsing history, uh, what you've borrowed from our, our collection. If you turn this off or hide your borrowing history, it can't be seen. It should clear the data out if I'm correct. But it, I, I recommend you leave it on. That way you can see if you watched that before, what episode or what comic you got, and which one is the next one in the list. It makes your life a little bit easier. But that's your choice. All right. Also in here is your information on your library card recommendations section. This recommendation section is pretty neat. This allows you to choose what your interests are. So if you like music, alternative, I like blues, I like classical, I like comedy, I like folk, hard rock, metal, a little bit of hip hop rap, let's go jazz, new age, punk, R&B and soul, reggae, rock, soundtracks sure we'll do spoken word and we'll check out world too and you can do the same thing with comics etc what else you're interested in are you interested in um any type of comic books but superhero obviously sci-fi yes dystopian fantasy fiction ebooks the same television the same once you go through and you set those up that lets hoopla help make recommendations for you let's go out to the main page again Okay, so again, we see what I have currently uh, borrowed. Up here is some basic recommendations on new stuff that come in. Um, it's their little promo thing where they can promote things. Under My Hoopla, you can see what you've got currently borrowed. You can see your favorites. I don't have any favorites yet. You mark your favorites as you borrow them or as you get them in case you want to watch them again or go back and get them again. And then you've got Browse. This is your search bar. And again, under Search, you can choose everything audiobooks, movies, music. So if I go to movies and I type in John Candy, there you go. There's movies with John Candy in it. Now I can change that to everything and I'm probably still going to get, oh no, look at that. There we go. I've got other stuff with John Candy apparently somehow showing up in them. I'm not sure why John Candy is showing up in these uh, homecoming classics. I'm going to guess that the words John and Candy appear separately. That's just a guess. Um, with that being said, narrowing down your collection obviously is going to get you what you want. So if I go in here to browse comics now, this gives me just a list of comics. Now you're going to see 
there's a mixture of comics in here. There's some great stuff in here. You've got The Boys, for those of you who are fans of the show on Amazon and you want to see what the comic is like. You've got Avatar, which is very popular on Netflix. Um, there's a bunch of stuff in here for kids. You can see Big Nate is obviously very popular in here right now. Uh, there's Umbrella Academy, which is also popular on Netflix. You'll notice there's a mix of stuff for kids and for adults. Uh, Monstrous Volume 5, I'm guessing that there's more to the Monstrous series in here. This just happens to be the one that comes up. Uh, if you're worried about your kids browsing through here and seeing all that stuff, you can go to Kids Mode, which will turn off all of those comics that aren't geared for kids. And now it's all kids-based stuff. All right. Now, toggle that back off. I can also come over here and narrow my search by the format, by user ratings, how old it is, what language it's in. Um, those are all options. I can sort by publisher, so I can look at just Marvel stuff if I want to, see what's available. Again, all of these are pretty simple, easy to use formats for browsing and searching. Same thing with movies. If I come in, under, on here, yeah, in here under movies, I can go to categories, featured, popular, Categories will allow me to sort by that. I can't sort by uh, studio, unfortunately. Would be nice if I could, but that's not an option apparently with movies. Ebooks. Categories are gonna, gonna are again gonna be subjects. There's a whole section on a thousand bucks for before kindergarten, which is a wonderful service our children's department does. If you're interested about it, take a look at their information on their website or give the children's department a call. They'll tell you all about a thousand books before kindergarten. Again, under ebooks, there's uh, a featured section which is highlights stuff that's either new or that or is being promoted in some form or another based on its popularity, whether there's a movie coming out for it, things like that. All of these are easy to use right on your uh, computer. So if I wanted to take a look at Earthlings, I can just click on borrow. Borrow title. And once I'm done, I can just open this up and start reading it right here. There's arrows that usually tell you what's going on. There's a drag bar down here where I can turn the pages. I can highlight stuff and search that information and look at it. Don't want to highlight the whole thing. This ebook works clunkier than some of the others. Let's go back to the comics and I'll show you how cool some of the, the uh, options are. Up here in your menu, lets you close the reader, so I'm back out to here. So I'm going to go into the comics. Actually, I'll just go open up my comic right here that I've been reading. So I'm reading this comic. It's based on Kylo Ren. Um, I can turn whole pages by clicking these arrows, right? If I want to look at a specific tile, I can zoom in on the artwork and inspect the artwork in a specific spot, see what the detail is, if there's anything hiding in there. A lot of artists like to hide cool stuff in their artwork when they do comics. I can zoom in on the text or I can just click on the box and it zooms in on that area. And then once I'm zoomed in, I can hit the space bar if I'm correct. No, nope, I guess I hit the arrow here. I hit the arrow and it's going to bounce between the different tiles on the page. It allows me to read just that tile and focuses my information. To get out of your comic, what you have to do is you have to click on these three lines that are behind me. So give me a second. There, do you see those three lines? We click on these and it brings up my menu so that I can exit the reader, choose my page list, get information if you've got questions, choose your settings. I'm going to exit the reader and go back out to Hoopla. All right, so now looking at Hoopla from here, you've seen all the basics that we can do on the web. Again, you get six titles, so you can have six music mu musical albums, you can have six graphic novels, or you could get a mixture, one graphic novel, two ebooks, an audio book, and a piece of music. It's your choice, however you want to do it, but you get six titles per month. Now let's talk about a little secret with Hoopla. 
Hoopla gives us so many things that can be checked out per day. So the library as a whole gets a percentage of things that we're allowed to check out per day. That day starts at midnight. So we actually have Hoopla fans that will log on at 12.01 and check out their stuff for the day, knowing that they're going to get one of those spots. Once those allotted things that can be checked out by the library per day have been used up, you can't check anything out. So you might come on here at 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, and try to check out the latest album that you wanted to check out, and unfortunately you can't because all of our daily slots were used up. This is a normal occurrence. It happens all the time. We get calls about it all the time. But now you know. If you, the early bird gets the worm in this case, so if you want to set your alarm at 12.02 so you can get up first thing in the morning and check out something off of Hoopla, you can do so, or you can just hope that you have the right amount of luck at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and still can get something. It's your choice. Uh, some days are busier than others. I've had problems myself where I can't get what I wanted, but it's okay because the next day I'm fine. All right, so once you have Hoopla set up, once you've been using it, here you can see there's the Star Wars and Earthlings both checked out to me, right? What we're going to do now is we're going to take a look at Hoopla here. Now again, the first thing you need to do when you install this app, and you can install it on your iPhone or your Android phone, just go to the appropriate place to get your apps and you're good to go. I'm going to log in and we'll take a look at it here. All right, so now I'm logged in and I made it a little bigger so it's easier to see for everybody. And you can see exactly how long I have these titles for. You can see I have to return them in 21 days. Again, I, I can return them to check out more. I could check out all six of my titles and still have them all out, but I don't recommend that you do that unless you think you're going to consume all that material within the allotted time. Okay, I can still browse from here, so I can go and look through stuff just like we did on the web on my phone. I can also just jump right back in once I've allowed it to download the material, it should remember where I left off, let's see. Now I left off at the first page here so it really won't matter. But now that it's downloaded, I don't even have to be on Wi-Fi or on my data plan to be able to read the book. It's going to give me instructions the first time on how it works. You can see here, double tap to enter or exit. Action view is what I was talking about where it zooms in on a particular frame so it's easier to read. This is obviously really important when you're using a mobile device because you don't have a very large screen. Okay, so we're back where we were. I can swipe to turn the page. I can zoom in. I can zoom back out. This drag bar obviously lets me cut to the different frames in this case. Or I can come back to the beginning, double click, go back to here, and now I'm turning the page by page. All right, same thing with the ebook. Again, once it downloads it, it's going to come back to where we left off. Once again, just like we were showing you earlier, you can hold down on a word, which will allow you to search or look up the word to see what information it is, what it means, its definition. And that's the basics on Hoopla. Again, we didn't download any movies or TV, but it works the same. Obviously, you'd turn your phone sideways and you'd be able to do the same. That's Hoopla in a nutshell. If you've got questions about Hoopla, if you're confused by how it works, if you have any ideas uh, on how to uh, get more material for Hoopla, don't be afraid to, afraid to reach out to us. Uh, you can message us here on Facebook. You can uh, send us an email at tlc at cmclibrary.org, and we'll be more than glad to help you out with your Hoopla questions. I hope you uh, enjoyed. I hope you enjoy using Hoopla, and as always, if you've got any other ideas or suggestions for videos you'd like to see us create, feel free to message us here, shoot us an email, give us a call, let us know, and we'll see what we can get done for you. Thanks and have a great day.